Just out here having fun right now, catching fish. Boy, it's a beautiful day out here. I'm gonna tell you guys real quick the importance of you dispatchers out there, especially you guys who aspire to become dispatchers and start your own dispatching company or for you owner yeah, operators. You where you at? This is a many move. Yeah. Yeah. This is how many move. Yeah. This is a many move. Yeah. Yeah. This is how many move. Yeah. Yeah. Dispatching trucks, trucks, broke to get bucks. I got dudes pulling up, giving knowledge. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. This is a many move. Yeah. Yeah. This is how many move. Yeah. Yeah. This is a many move. Yeah. Yeah. This is how many move. Yeah. 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 This Trucks, trucks, broke her to get bucks, but I think it's good enough, even I, that's what's up. Hot shot stay ready to book a load, many movement, truck seen all over the road. CEO couldn't execute and be obsessed, running miles every day, keep me free of stress. Travel in your own lane, there isn't any traffic, moving quick and strategic, gotta secure the package, gotta take it and make it more than what it's worth. I came up from the bottom, used to be in the dirt, self-made and doing things extraordinary, going lateral and vertical, it's more than scary, self-made, doing things extraordinary, generational wealth accumulated before I'm buried. This is a many move, yeah, this is how many move, yeah, this is a many move, yeah. This is how many move. Yeah. Dispatching trucks, trucks. Broke to get bucks. I got dudes pulling up, giving knowledge. That's what's up. Yeah. This is many move. Yeah. This is how many move. Yeah. This is many move. Yeah. This is how many move. Yeah. Dispatching trucks, trucks. Broke to get bucks. I got dudes pulling up, giving knowledge. That's what's up. all of my veterans out here big shout out to all of my subscribers man like i tell you guys i can't go one video without showing my appreciation question number three today so if you guys have any questions man hit me up on my text app 317-953-8943 that text message will come to me directly and i will reply back to you personally so what i'm doing is basically turning my questions into content if someone has a question nine times out of 10, there's gonna be another person who has the same question. So question number three is basically, what type of loads could go into refrigerated trailers? What type of loads could be brokered out? What's the commodities out here? So these questions right here is in regards to freight brokers. So some of you guys might be freight brokers. Some of you guys might be aspiring freight brokers too right so like i told you guys in a previous video the good thing about being a freight broker is that you don't have to just basically limit yourself to one type of trailer you just don't have to broker out loads for a reefer trailer you just don't have to broker out loads for a dry van or a flatbed right you could broker out loads for any type of trailer for any type of manufacturer and today question number three we're going to discuss what type of loads you could be possibly brokering out for refrigerated trailers too so for you guys out here you need to know what could be hauled on refrigerated trailers so that you could start building your shippers list too right so take this information right here so that you guys could start doing research to find manufacturers if you guys are freight brokers so that you could start brokering out freight so what could go in the refrigerated trailer? Ice cream and dairy. So right now you guys can start looking up ice cream manufacturers in your area. And the good thing about being a freight broker is only thing you're going to do is just call them up. Say, hey, do you guys need any assistance with moving your freight to your shipper or to your cust I mean, to your customer? So you're calling the shipper up, trying to sell your services as being a freight broker, right? I can remember when I was younger, thinking back on it now, my dad used to haul a lot of ice cream and he used to haul this ice cream in a box truck. You know, we used to pick it up from the manufacturer in Decatur, Illinois, and take it over to Crawfordsville, uh, Indiana. Is that Crawfordsville, Indiana? Yeah, I believe so. I, Illinois or Indiana, one of them. But anyway, we used to take it over to Crawfordsville 
from Decatur, Illinois, over to Crawfordsville in a box truck, picked it up from the manufacturer, dropped it off to the customer, you know, too. So, I don't know, that was just a thought in my mind when we're talking about ice cream. I can remember riding with my dad growing up. So, anyway, as also on a refrigerator trailer, frozen food, any type of food that's going to be frozen, anything that you guys see in the aisle at the grocery store, that is going to be somebody has manufactured, you know, that food. So go to the grocery store, walk up and down the aisles, write down names that you see on the packaging. You know, get in contact with some of these people out here that's manufacturing frozen food, meat, produce. All of this ties in together from ice cream all the way down to produce. And then you got something that's a little bit different that could be hauled on refrigerated trailers, which could be pharmaceuticals. So there's a lot of pharmaceuticals that need to stay in a controlled temperature environment. And that's why we have refrigerated trailers because some freight do have to stay, you know, at a certain temperature, at a certain cold temperature too, right? So look up some pharmaceutical companies out here, all the way from ice cream, to frozen fr uh, food, to meat, to produce. And this is just some examples. There is way more types of commodities that could go on refrigerated trailers. And just know that on a refrigerator, uh, most refrigerated trailers is go are going to be anywhere from 48 to 53 foot long. And they're going to, the max weight is going to be anywhere from about 44,000 to 48,000 pounds too. And this is pretty standard across the board for you guys out here. So anyway, man, real quick video, video number four coming soon. We're gonna talk about what commodities could be hard on the dry van trailer for some of you guys out here. And like I'm telling you, take this information so that you could start doing your, doing your research online for you freight brokers out here so that you could start adding to your shippers list so that you could start pretty much acquiring some of these manufacturers out here man so you guys can start making money man brokering these loads so if you have any questions hit me on my text message 317-953-8943 go visit my website www.extraordinarymovement.com go get your 30 day free trial with DAT load board go sign up with tabs Trans and financial services if you guys are looking for a factoring service. Everything in the description link below. Video number four coming soon. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.